Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a buck hunter folding knife. Different from your traditional sort of folding knives that you do get your hands on. It comes in the sheath. Um, this was a trade that I'm busy actioning with somebody and I acquired this buck. Um, quite a nice sheath, mind you. You open it up, you have the knife. It doesn't have any pocket carry clips. But this is a really big, I would call it, almost a hunting knife as you can see from that it is a really nice piece of kit uh, really good for multiple tasks not a very thick blade but thick enough for your sort of hunters uh, and that sort of stuff so yeah really nice really comfortable handle on this so if you were skinning or doing anything like that this would probably be a, quite an ideal knife in that environment doesn't look overly complicated to clean it either just all around a really cool knife like I say really big big blade um, you can get an idea of the blade size there she's a uh, quite a size decent for um, a lot of tasks nice now I personally have never owned many buck knives um, this is probably one of my first I may stand to correction because I may have had one of the old buck knives when I was a young boy um, in the 90s, early 90s, but um, I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly the models that I was had. To me, it was a knife bought to the tea room in the corner store. So, but I have seen some of the buck older knives that resemble that. But let's get a bit of a closer look at this guy on the bench um, and you guys can draw your own conclusions about this knife and its functionality. Alright, so here we have the Buck knife. Um, as you can see, you've got that Buck USA engraved into the blade. Um, this is quite a deep belly knife. Um, so to me, this would be a good slicer. Um, it does have some thumb studs, etc. on it. And it has quite a nice uh, profile on the scales or the handles. Um, you've got a big Torx key there for tightening down. There's no more torques on here this seems to be some sort of a push stud system um, the locking mechanism is this over here so you would push that it disengages from the blade you can put it away um, bit of a strange profile for a pocket knife but not really a pocket knife to say the least got some jumping down here at the bottom so when you're grabbing the knife low um, you've got very easy to open. It's thumb stud opening only. You can't really flick this knife. It's quite stiff. And you'll see the jumping here on the back over here carries over to the blade. So when it's engaged open, it becomes one long run of jumping on the back here where you can basically place your thumb. And that's done quite well, I must say. Um, overall, holding this knife is very comfortable. And I could foresee this being very easy to use for long terms. It does have a bit of a sharp edge on the edge of the plastic over here. But nothing too concerning. Nothing too worrying there. Um, just all around a decent blade. I'm a little bit concerned about how the scales are held together using these studs. Because that means I can't tighten things down when things start getting a bit loose. But in so saying, I don't know if they're going to get loose with this knife. I don't know. Time will tell. Um, it is a bit of an imbalance between the... Well, the knife is quite well balanced, I must say. But uh, the handle is quite a bit longer than the blade. Um, to me, this would almost lean towards a chopping sort of action. If you look at that, being able to hold like that and chop through something. But um, I don't think it was necessarily the intention. Um, yeah, I like it. It's a nice blade. Um, Buck have been making quality knives for many years. So I think this one should hold up pretty well. But I guess time will tell. So this one arrived probably two, three weeks ago. I haven't had a chance to review it as yet. This is my first chance. Um, as I say, this was a trade knife for me. This one I'm swapping with something else. Uh, which reminds me I need to get that out to the gent pretty soon. Um, he ordered something specific custom um, and I think he's going to enjoy what's coming for him but yeah that's pretty much it for the Buck USA 
Hunter. I'm not too sure what the exact model of this is called. And um, again, comes with a really cool sheath. I like it. Putting it away is quite different. Like I say, no pocket clips or anything like that. She slides in, she engages like that, and there you have your sheath. The nice thing about the sheath is it can be carried one way or it can be carried scout on your belt, depending what your liking is. So all in all, nice one, Buck. I'd like to see some more of your options that are available. Um, maybe get a few more in for review. Thanks for watching everybody and until next time, have a great one.